my YouTube channel. And for today, we are going to discuss the part two of how to use Google Classroom. In my first video, we discussed how to use the stream feature in the Google Classroom. And so for today, I will be sharing you how to use the classwork feature, the people, and the grade. Before we move on, if you are new in this channel, please subscribe so you will be updated in the upcoming videos that I will be uploading. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have comments, you write down below. So without further ado, let's start. So we are back here in our Google Classroom. Let's review first. You need to go to your email and you need to go to your email and click the Google app applications and you can see this classroom. And then you can click and boom, there you go. You are there. Okay. So last time we made our classroom. I'll, I will repeat again. If you want to make another class, if you want to make another class, you may go to classes and then you can see the plus sign at the right side, at the right side. So I will try to make another one because I'm a teacher. I will use, use create class and then I'm going to make another one. Agree, continue. And then I would say science. Grade one science, grade one science, tulip, this will be tulip, and C, room C. So, I will create, let's wait for a while, there you go. So, this is my science class, you can do this also, if you want to change the theme, you can change it. You need to select them or you can upload yours. And last time we discussed about streaming. You know this one already. Let's move on to classwork. So in this classwork, if we're going to click this, you will see this feature. It says uh, assign work to your class here. So you can create assignments and questions or use topics to organize classwork into modules or units. So in here, you can create if you want to give homework assignments you click this one okay and it will move you in this screen okay so maybe you can write homework homework number one or homework one then you give the instruction Or if this is for grade one, draw the plant and label label the parts. And then you can put the points. How many points do you like? You can say 15. 15 points. You can write the due date. Now, let's say 21. And then, no need for the time. See, you have also here rubrics. You, you have also here rubrics. You can make your own rubrics for your grading system. It's up to you. When you are here, you can explore everything. Now, after you do the grading, you need to add okay if you have already in your maybe in microsoft word you can open in your google drive if you put in here or in the file file and then you can upload wait we are waiting okay like for example i will upload one photo but it's not a homework just for example okay let me choose let's say this one okay this is just an example. Remember, this is a tip for you. If you want to upload homework or assignment, you need to put the file in PDF form. 
because if it's in Microsoft Office, it will change, the format will change. So you need to save as PDF. And then it's here. And then you can edit also. Students can view the file or students can edit the file or make a copy for each students. But for me, I prefer to use make a copy for each students. Students cannot edit this one already. And then after that, you assign. Let's try to assign. Okay, there you go. It appears there. Homework number one, due date. This will appear in the students' Google Classroom also. They can automatically see. Okay. Or there's another way. Assignments. Let's go back again. You can add the one that you already made or you can create in here. In a Google slide, Google sheet or drawing, you can make in here. This will be another topic, but it's it's up to, for example, documents. In Google Docs, you can write here. Wait, it's still loading. There you go. So you can make your homework in here. You can do, oh, let's say, here is the instruction. Draw. It's like in Microsoft Office, you can just type your homework in here. It's okay. And then, let's not go here, deeper in here, because I know you can do this one. We are here. Okay, so we are back. Okay, so in your homework, also don't forget to, you can write also your topic, what is all about the homework. Maybe you can write there, create a topic. You can write there, it's all about plants. It's all about plants. There you go. And then assign. We already assigned the first one a while ago, so it's not possible already. Okay. And then let's move on to the next feature. This one is the people who are in this Google Classroom. So you have the teacher and the students. You can add your students. You can invite them using, the, using their email. You can type in here their email and then invite they will receive it from their email and we have here the grades okay so for the grading since we don't have yet any student it, it didn't appear in here but if you have your students there will be a list of your students their worksheet there's the score of their homeworks and then the total in here it will automatically appear in here so that's it that's for the grades okay so stream classwork people and and this is very helpful for the students because all the videos that you are posting in here are organized they can just go and scroll down and they can see oh this is the one that me that my teacher posted in this day in this day it's really organized and then what did i miss for the homework i forgot for the classwork for the class work, if you put the due date and the student forget to submit on this day, it will automatically appear here late. You will not be confused who did not submit, who, who is late. It will appear in here automatically. So it's easier for the teacher. There you go. And if you want to make a new class and you, want, you don't want this class anymore, you want to delete it, maybe at the end of the school year, you can just... You can just go to the class, for example, this one. Click, move, copy, invite link, edit, copy, or archive. You just move to archive. Just click archive. There you go. So that's it for our Google Classroom. I hope this one really helps you. For those who are working with their modules, this is very efficient for you. There you go, my friends. So I hope this Google Classroom will help you and make your life easier. In order for you to be updated with all the videos that I will be uploading, don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. See you again in my next video. Thank you.